Welcome back to Role Players TV. Today we dive deep into the connections between history, science, and spirituality. Today's topic is one that brings together biology, genetics, and anthropology, with a little mystery thrown in for good measure. So we're asking the question, where do white people really come from? And to understand this, we need to explore some basic scientific truths about human genetics. So let's grow into it. First off, let's break down melanin. You may have heard that melanin is responsible for the pigmentation in our skin, eyes, and hair. But there are different types of melanin, pheomelanin and eumelanin. A pheomelanin is more prevalent in lighter skin individuals, contributing to lighter skin hair and sometimes freckles. Eumelanin is more common in darker skinned people, resulting in deeper skin tones and dark hair. These are natural variations that occur within the human species. But here's the thing. The DNA that controls these characteristics doesn't just change because you move to a different climate or environment. No. DNA can't be altered by environmental triggers alone. DNA is like a biological blueprint. The traits we inherit, such as skin color, hair texture, and eye color, are coded in our DNA and passed down through generations. These traits only change through genetic mutation. So, what does this mean for the history of human evolution? Now, let's be clear. Natural selection isn't what caused these changes. It wasn't some slow evolutionary process where certain traits became dominant because they helped people survive better in different environments. Natural selection as traditionally understood can't account for the variations we see today between different groups of people. So what actually causes these changes is something called mutagenesis, a process that results in genetic mutations where there are changes in the DNA sequence. These mutations can happen randomly or due to external factors like radiation, but they are not a result of gradual evolutionary adaptation. It's more like a sudden shift in the genetic code. So when we look at skin color, hair texture, and other physical traits, these are results of genetic mutations over time. But these changes didn't just happen naturally over millions of years in response to different climates. There's a deeper question here. Now science tells us that all humans, no matter our current appearance, originated from one common ancestor often referred to as the mitochondrial Eve. This ancient African woman lived well over 100,000 years ago, and every human being on Earth today shares part of her DNA. This means that the original gene pool was African, from the continent of Africa, or the ancient name of this continent, Alkebulon. And the variations we see today, lighter skin, straight hair, different eye colors, are the result of these genetic changes. Genetic changes. Which leads us to our big question. Where do white people come from? Now, this is where things get interesting. Some researchers have posed theories that question whether these genetic mutations were entirely natural or if some form of bioengineering could have taken place. Genetic manipulation. Targeted 
genetic deletion is a concept that has been studied in modern genetics today, and some speculate that this could have been used to remove or alter certain genes, resulting in lighter skin and other physical traits. While this theory isn't mainstream, it raises an important point. Could these mutations have been engineered deliberately by an unknown source? Beings of higher intelligence. Bioengineering, whether natural or artificial, may explain some of the rapid changes in the gene pool. It's a complex subject, and one that scientists are still exploring today. What we do know for sure is that the DNA that originated in Africa spread across the globe, and mutations followed. According to many studies, there's not much evidence that a lack of vitamin D caused black people to turn white. As the evolution of human skin color is complex and involves many other more plausible factors. For instance, vitamin D folate hypothesis suggests that the evolution of human skin pigmentation is linked to vitamin D and UVR sensitivity. However, there are other theories for this so-called evolution of skin pigmentation. Skin lightening scientists believe that when humans migrated to higher altitudes for whatever reason, lower vitamin D levels caused the skin to lighten. However, the most plausible findings suggest that skin lightening of black people was more likely simply due to immigration from lighter skin populations to darker skin populations introducing inbreeding between these two groups of people. But the question is, why would a group of darker skinned people migrate to a colder climate in the mountains? Were they forced to flee to the mountains? And why would they flee to a colder climate in Europe? Why would they migrate that far into the mountains where it's cold and if they were in this cold climate environment, they surely would have kept warm and found several ways to keep warm. So what is the truth? Did black people become white skinned people with straight hair and different colored eyes purely through natural selection and evolution? Or was it simply due to inbreeding with an already mutated group of people? And was this mutated group of people created through some form of genetic manipulation or bioengineering? While we may not have all the answers today, one thing is clear. All people, regardless of skin color, share a common ancestry that goes back to Africa, the ancient Alkebulon. We are, in a sense, one human family. This is a topic that we will continue to research and explore here on Role Players TV. If you're as fascinated by this as I am, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future episodes. Let's keep asking these questions and digging for further truth together. Until next time, stay curious, stay aware, and stay royal. Peace. Much love.